to our channel lab tech world myself kishor waghani and today we are going to discuss part number 5 of hpssc that is himachal pradesh staff selection commission lab technician exam question paper 2022 before starting today's mcq i would like to request if you are visiting our channel for first time then please subscribe our channel lab tech world and press the bell icon to enable all notifications for our next upcoming videos let's start today's mcqs question number 90 synthesis of prostaglandin is inhibited by option a aspirin b arsenic c fluoride d cyanide fact available for this question it is prostaglandins are synthesized in the walls of blood vessels and serves the physiological function of preventing needless clot formation as well as regulating the contraction of smooth muscles prostaglandin synthesis is inhibited by both non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs as well as anti inflammatory steroids for example aspirin ibuprofen and naproxen so we can say from the given information it is aspirin that inhibits the synthesis of prostaglandin so option a will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 91 the average ph of urine is option a 7.0 b 6.0 c 8.0 d 9.0 fact available for this question it is according to the american association for clinical chemistry the average value of urine ph is 6.0 but it can ranges from 4.5 to 8.0 so we can say from the given information it is 6.0 option b will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 92 the golgi complex option a synthesizes proteins b produces atp c provide a pathway for transporting chemicals d forms glycoproteins fact available for this question it is glycosylation is very common modification of protein and lipids and most glycosylation reaction occurs in the golgi complex although the transfer of initial sugars to glycoproteins or glycolipids occurs in the endoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum or on the endoplasmic reticulum membrane the subsequent addition of many different sugars that make up a mature glycan is accomplished in the golgi complex so we can say glycoprotein or glycolipids are finalized in the golgi complex initiated in the endoplasmic reticulum so we can say it is formation of glycoprotein option d will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 93 The power house of the cell is option A nucleus B cell membrane C mitochondria D lysosome fact available for this question it is cell uses a typical molecule for energy called adenosine triphosphate that is ATP mitochondria are called the power house of the cell they are called so because they produces a ATP an energy dense molecule responsible for powering the most cellular processes in the living organism so we can say from the given information it is mitochondria that is known as the power house of the cell so we can say option c will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 94 which of the following is an aldose sugar option a glycerose b ribulose c erythrulose d dihydroxyacetone fact available for this question it is glyceraldehyde or glycerol or glycerose is a triose monosaccharide with chemical formula C3H6O3 it is the simplest of all common aldose it is sweet colorless crystalline solid that is an intermediate compound in carbohydrate metabolism the word glyceraldehyde comes from combining the glycerol and aldehyde as the glyceraldehyde is glycerol with one alcohol group oxidized to an aldehyde group so we can say it is glyceraldehyde or glycerose that is an aldose sugar so we can say option a glycerose will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 95 which of the following is a triose sugar option a glycerose b ribose c erythrulose erythrose d fructose from the information available in the previous question we can say it is glycerose that is an example of triose monosaccharide or triose sugar so we can say it is once again glycerose will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 96 the polysaccharide used in assessing the glomerular filtration rate or gfr test is option a glycogen b agar c inulin d 
hyaluronic acid fact available for this question is urinary inulin which is a polysaccharide of fructose clearance is considered the gold standard for measuring the glomerular filtration rate because inulin has all the properties of an ideal marker it is freely filtered by the glomerulus not secreted nor reabsorbed in the tubules and it is not synthesized or metabolized in the kidneys so we can say it is inulin which is a polysaccharide of the fructose is a used in the assessing the glomerular filtration rate or option c inulin will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 97 the specific gravity of urine normally ranges from option a 0 0.9002 to 0 0.999 B 1.003 to 1.030 C 1.000 to 1.001 D 1.101 to 1.120 One of the easiest question commonly asked in various exams Correct answer for this question it is option B 1.003 to 1.030 is the normal specific gravity of the urine So option B will be the correct answer for this question Move to the next question number 98 Benz Jones proteins or BJ protein precipitates at option A 20 to 40 degree Celsius, B 40 to 60 degree Celsius, C 60 to 80 degree Celsius, D 80 to 100 degree Celsius. Fact available for this question it is Benz Jones proteins have the apparently unique and characteristic property of precipitating in the temperature ranges from 45 to 60 degree Celsius and of redispersing upon boiling and of re-precipitating upon subsequent cooling. So we can say it is 45 to 60 degree Celsius is the temperature where Benz Jones proteins get precipitated out. So we can say option B 40 to 60 degree Celsius will be the most appropriate and correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 99. Benedict's test is less likely to give weekly positive result with concentrated urine due to the action of option A urea B uric acid C ammonium salt D phosphate fact available for this question it is drugs that gives the false positive benedict's taste are acetyl salicylic acid ascorbic acid that is vitamin C cephalothin chloral hydrate streptomycin sulfonamides and amino salicylic acid contaminated Contamination from oxidizing agents or bleach or improper storage of urine strip also gives the false positive results. Talking about one of the modification of Benedict's test where the blue color tungstus, oh sorry, tungstus acid is reduced from phosphor tungstic salt by uric acid in an alkaline medium. So we can say it is uric acid that also gives the false positive benedict test so we can say from the given information option b uric acid will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 100 the, the normal glucose tolerance curve reaches peak in option 1 option a 15 minute b 1 hour c 2 hour d 2 and half hour fact available for this question it is the exact timing of blood sugar spikes can vary from person to person as well as from meal to meal however on average the post meal peaks tends to about 1 hour and 15 minutes after starting a meal but the best way to measure the post meal pattern is by using the continuous glucose monitor and finally then plot into the graph so we can say seeing the graph you can see the normal graph for the sugar with subsequent time you can see it peaks in about 1 hour so we can say it is 1 hour that is the time where sugar or level of glucose reaches to its peak so option B 1 hour will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 101 sulfur containing amino acid is option A methionine B leucine C valine D aspargine Fact available for this question it is, it is also one of the repeatedly asked question. 4 amino acids that is methionine, cysteine, homocysteine and taurine are the 4 common sulfur containing amino acids but only 2 first uh, that is methionine and cysteine are incorporated or involved in the formation of the proteins in the human body. 
sulfur belong to the same group in the periodic table as oxygen but it is much less electronegative as compared to the oxygen it is not as much important but you can say it is methionine cysteine homocysteine and taurine are the four four examples of the sulfur containing amino acid from this methionine is given in the option a so option a will be the correct answer for this question that's all for the today thank you for watching the video please subscribe our channel lab tech world and if you like our work then like and share our videos with your friends thank you thank you very much